All right, let me rest and present you guys to Arga Alligator. He has 78 votes. He's from the U.S. He's also a very happy man. Please introduce yourself, Argyle. Hello, my last name's actually Alligatre. It gets confused with Alligator a lot. That's all right, Rustic, I understand. Uh, I was known for being a reality star on the show The Toe Show. <laughs> I've done a lot of work being the everyday working man, and I'm here to represent him and his needs. Okay, next person, Michael, motherfucking Walker. Go ahead. Who? <gasps> I like that last name or middle name. Uh, hi. Talk. Hi, uh, Dad. My name's Michael Walker. I don't remember a lot else other than that. Uh, I think I'm running for mayor. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. He has um 80 votes. Exactly 85 to be fully Whoa. honest. Who would do that? No one. Okay, go back, Sasha to them. Who are you? Okay, so my name is Sasha to them. Time out. Get the fuck on the ground. <laughs> That's all you get. There you go. Back go in ahead. 2007, I won a Nobel Prize in physics, and I also represent FC Madrid. And um, yeah, Sasha. Sasha is my cousin. My parents and uh, my mother is actually from Russia, and uh, we moved here to America. And uh, my dad was very interested in uh, Russian politics. Sasha for mayor. And that also yeah. um, got me very into politics, and uh, here I am, running for me in Santos. All right, and we job. are going to make Santos great again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, listen up. <sighs> I told the public, slash, whatever you guys are called, to shut up, so shut up. Else someone will get deported, slash, you know, yeah, you get the point. Either way, we're going to start with Michael Walker. Why do you want to become the mayor of Santos? Go ahead. Been here for several, several months now. I absolutely love this town. Love absolutely every single one of the civilians in it, except for maybe two. But, uh, you know, I've seen it grow into something amazing, and there are certain areas that I feel like we could always improve upon to make it better. Awesome. And I feel like I have the exact experience to do that. I've watched dynasties grow and fall. Ever, I've helped build the pyramids. Genghis Khan conquered that wall. I think I've got more experience here than any of my uh, competitors here. Ten oh. seconds. Oh, I can't count that high. Ten. That's it. All right, Argyle, go ahead. Uh, Why do you want to become a mayor of Santos? Uh, well, the can city. Can you please speak up, Argyle? I can't hear. Hello, you. can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Can you hear them? The the city of Rockalock is a good town, but it's got problems. I personally believe that the working class is taxed too highly and doesn't have the sufficient resources they need. Also, this town needs to be a hot spot. We need to put it on the map. We need more sick, ill stunts all over the place. We need faster cars, more jumps, more mad ill flips, and I'm here to get all that done. I'm here to make this town great for the first time. Rock Rock is a good city. Five seconds. I'm done. Okay. Shasha, at the motherfucking doom, go ahead. Okay, so, the reason why I want to become the mayor of Santos is because I am just the right person for this town here. And I'm gonna be the guy to clean up this tremendous mess that is in this town here. We have tremendous problems like the taxes and the rents and uh, the cops and just gun replicas. And I'm gonna make be the guy that's gonna clean up all this mess here. Okay, Shasha, I want to ask you, why do you say that a cop is a mess? Go ahead. Uh, today I was ticketed. One, uh, actually, yeah, actually today I was ticketed for driving too fast with my lights and siren on as a EMS with two people bleeding to death in the back. And uh, how that, that's are you respond to that? Well, this is the deal, guys. Even if you're a paramedic, even if someone's dying in the back, which they're not, they're very stabilized. They're not going anywhere. Does not give you uh, speed. Stabilized. Okay, it's in our SOPs. We've been given orders from our chiefs and higher ups to, you know, if we see emergency personnel, such as a paramedic speeding or driving recklessly, even if they have their lights on, we are to issue them a ticket. Okay, so this person is in the back. He's fully, you know, he's stabilized. He wasn't stabilized. Okay? He, there was two people anywhere. in the back sitting in the back. Well, not stabilized. They should be, they should be in the All right, that's enough. To death. That's enough. All right, question, take it up with the chief. I'll agree. Shut up. Argyle, what do you want to change in this city in terms of taxes, prices, everything? First of all, I think the working class is taxed too highly for the jobs they do. They're the backbone of this town and they need less taxes, they need higher wages. Most of these people don't have homes, 
Most of them don't have cars. The company car is their car and they sleep in that car. Your delivery man, that delivery truck is your house. These people know what I'm talking about. That taxi is your house. They need lowered taxes to get higher wages. Also, all those cars need nitrous. So, I'm going to bring a special man up here. So, please, this, this, the fucking special man, get up here and introduce yourself. Special man. Who's the special man? Oh, he's, he's coming up right me. now. Oh. No, wait. Alright, this is Franklin motherfuckers now who's gonna also oh, be running for mayor today. Please present, oh, I mean... <clears throat> please welcome Franklin That's Snow. That's right. <laughs> what? Well, I don't hear no motherfucking applause, huh? Got something to say? Boo! Boo. All right, I have a all question. Right. Boo. I'm with Give you, Franklin. Questions. I'm with you. All right, you to today? Franklin. Yes. Why do you want to be the mayor of Santos? Oh, there's a lot of things that's wrong here in town, like these racist ass cops trying to put me in jail for being black. And no, I got a lot to do for this city, and I got the money to change things. I bet all of you know that you ain't got enough money in your pocket, and I understand. If you want money in your motherfucking pocket. Well, look at me. You're looking at the motherfucker right here. <laughs> Choose me as mayor. You get your money. And who is going to be your assistant chief slash deputy mayor? <sighs> that is a hard choice. And uh, frankly, I've not decided yet. I got a lot of day ones besides me that want to step up to the position. That'll be me. I, I can promise you it's going to be a good one. Boom, boom. All right, so we have Argyle, motherfucking alligator. We have Franklin Snow. We have Michael Walker and Walter Helensky that's going to be the deputy mayor of Shasha Dome. Please welcome them to the mayor debate 2017. Let's oh, go. Yeah, and, uh, Hello. Questions. You can't go. Yes. Okay, so, cool. Can I ask a question? So, about questions. If you have a question, put your hands up and I will pick Me. you. Don't say a shit. Shut the fuck up, and I'm gonna choose you. All right, James Vicente, who are you gonna ask? I I wanna ask a question for um the guy on the end. I forgot his name. Shush it to them. Yeah, dude. Go ahead. Go to yell. Uh, I was already. Uh, hey, Sasha. Yes. All right, you're the one that was talking about taxes, right? Correct. About re All right, hey, you gonna lower them? Yes, I'm gonna lower them. Alright, that's my fucking dude right there! High All five! Alright, go yeah. back, whisper, and shut the fuck up. Okay, go ahead, Danny Belfort, to who? Danny Belfort. Okay, fuck you. Alana Harrison, go ahead. <clears throat> Alright, I have a question to the gentleman. Where Shit, do you guy. see the future of the fire department? What changes you will make in the fire department Ooh, and how one. you want to support us? Michael Get... Walker, go ahead. Alright, so, in, um, in lieu of me having a chance of becoming mayor, I had already gone out and decided to speak with other professional firefighters um, around my hometown. And what, some of the ideas that we have are different vehicles and actually make it more like how other cities do fire departments, which means brush trucks, running trucks, actually having them hook up to fire hydrants. Actually making it so the fire the firefighters don't show up, do a, do a job for two minutes, and leave. I feel like that is the primary reason most people don't go to the firefighter job. It's one, I'm not saying it's too easy, but there's not too much depth to it. That's what I want to add to it. Okay, okay. Agreed. Okay, do any other ma mayor candidate want to respond to that? Well, Shasha, yeah, yeah, sure. I can uh, respond to that. Go ahead, Shasha. Okay, so... I don't know a lot of, about the fire department, but but I do know that a lot of people, they think that it's boring uh -huh. and it's way too easy. So what I'm going to do on, on my first day in office, I will make a meeting with all the high-ups from the different jobs, like uh, the police department, the EMS department, and the fire department. And I'm going to find out what the prob problem is, and I'm going to try to find out the way that we can solve them. Anyone else? Yes, Argyle? please. Franklin, go ahead. Yeah, you know, I heard your head don't have enough jobs. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I believe you. But I will make it able that every time I smoke a motherfucker, <laughs> there will be a fire for you to put the fuck out. All right, sir, you are kicked out from the courtroom. Please leave now. What? How Look at me, huh? What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? 
Oh, 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 Stay down! Medic! Medic! Sasha! Sasha, I'm sorry for your loss. Walter was a good man! I can't move! I can't move! Order! Order! Everybody, order! Remember to vote for me! <laughs> Actually, yo, I, I kinda had a question, Mr. Snow. Piece of shit. How will a person with the criminal record of yours be able to run this city? Motherfucker, I got money, I do what the fuck I want. Okay, <laughs> you're under arrest, sir. It's like this. Hey, yo, Sasha. <laughs> Sasha, guess what? After this bitch ass ceremony, I'm a smoke. You. Fuck your human rights. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just caught him back up. Just caught him back up. <laughs> Next question. You're trespassing, Next question. guys, leave. Go ahead, Terry Marbury. Oh, why did you okay. see me? I have a question for Argyle. Yes. Yeah, so when you say about sick, ill ramps, what do you mean by that? You mean stunts? Basically, I would like more vehicles with speed propulsion to them. The thing is, I think Santos needs a little bit of more flair to get some more populace in here. I'm not saying that it's not great. But I'm saying it could always be better. I think having particular vehicles with stunt capabilities to do some sick ill jumps would bring that in. And I'm talking about adding nitrous to particular vehicles and, you know, setting up some ramp areas, maybe a ramp course outside of town. You know, just some stuff that you see and you look on, you go, damn, I want to do that tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Does any mayor candidate have anything to say about that? About traps and shit? And uh, like I, I do. Absolutely. Well, unfortunately, um, what he's promising you, it's a little harder to do. See, again, in lieu of becoming mayor, I've decided to talk to some of the city builders. One of the main city builders decided to bring up the point that this city already has plenty of objects to the point of if you want to add something, even a stop sign, something else, you almost have to remove another sign. Adding ramps or a course like that is damn near impossible, as much as I hate to admit it. But, um, something like that is something that is kind of impossible to do. I have a follow-up to that. Uh, we can get rid of some of the stop signs. Nobody uses yeah. them anyways. There's some stop signs around town that no one ever uses. Yeah. Ramps are important. Yeah. AKA the one up near the cliff. Also, <laughs> there's also naturally occurring ramps in the city. We could use those without having to add any ramps to sacrifice anything else. That was a good point, Michael. So we could just use the naturally occurring ramps that Mother Earth has provided us. So, question number one. What politics will you enact as mayor? I think I said that right, right, Arnold? Policies. Policies, no. I think you mean. Okay, policies. Go ahead. <laughs> fucking Argyle, fucking say the question. Okay, I think what Rustic meant to say was what policies will we enact as mayors? There's a language barrier. Yeah. He's going off 20 questions for mayorialcandidates.com. <laughs> What's so funny? All right. So that, that's the question. Walter, go ahead and respond. I mean, Shasha, sorry. Sasha. Uh, can you repeat the question again? Okay. I, what policies will you enact as mayor? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm going to make it illegal to sell gun replicas. Also, I'm, also, the criminal rights, no one is fucking abating them. Like the cops, they put people down in cells, oh, but they're several meters underground. They, they get no food whatsoever, no free time whatsoever, and they have no work in toilet. They have a bucket. They are Crimey sleeping on river. boxes. And, and they, they are in one cell. Everyone is in one cell. Let them... And we have so many corrupt cops, and, and we, I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> Parker, go ahead. Me? Yes. Oh, policies I want to increase, like you're saying, is getting more people out of crime, more to basic jobs, to actually earn money, to earn these expensive cars. I want to make it so less people stay out of crime, uh, via... This uh, probationary thing I keep, I am very adamant on. And the other policies I want to increase will be policies that will move more, more people into the paramedic oh, and firefighter uh, jobs. 
That way, those numbers stay up so we feel safer as citizens. I'll go ahead. Uh, first of all, I'd like to enact a policy that would decrease taxes on salaries proportionate to the different jobs made. And I'm not just talking about working class. I'm talking about all the service jobs as well. EMS, police, firefighters, all of it. I think more people need more access to money. I'd also like to give more individual rights to people, including criminals. I think more legal representation is needed for different people. And I think there needs to be more individual rights for citizens as well. Uh, it's going to need to take an inquiry to devise what rights need to be enacted, but I think there needs to be more freedom here. We need to have some kind of real constitution in place. All right, so. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, who did they miss? <clears throat> no one. Okay, good. Are you willing to work with department heads? Michael Walker. 100%. That's what I've been doing in case I do become mayor already. I've been trying to get in touch with Oliver Green, <clears throat> some of the fire department chiefs. Who's uh, the chief there? That one I do not know. I've not been able to find him. Harrison. He's right there. Oh. Yeah, he's Good right day. Oh, EMS chief. E EMS Dave chief. White. Ever Dave White. Dave Fat White. Alright. Arga, what about you? <laughs> yes, uh, I'd like to have... Uh... Oh. Did anyone else hear that ghost? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that ghost is about to get deported if it doesn't yeah. shut the uh, I'll up. be dealing with the ghost problem as well, but department heads, I'd like to have meetings with them as much as possible during my term to find out what needs to be improved and improved. I mean, we all know the names of the department heads. There's no, you know, no need for me to name them because I, I know them too. I know them just like you guys. Next person. <laughs> Bullshit. Sir, what was the question? Wait, again? About welfare and, and like that. <laughs> Welfare. Well, welfare is... It, it is a luxury for this town. To be honest, right now we have bigger problems to deal with. Look over here. Look where I am pointing at. You see these bullet holes and this blood. It's all over the city. Criminals are taking over. Police department has quite little authority. However, police department also does have less respect from people, which it should definitely not have. <laughs> Just look at these holes and look at this bloodshed by myself. Gentlemen, welfare right now in this first mayor, mayor term is not even an option on the table. We need to start figure out how to lower taxes, how to make your life safer, and how to make you pay less and gain more first. Yeah, so. Walter! Yeah, we make go. some yeah. fucking yeah. noise! Yeah, yeah. go! <laughs> that was a great answer. Okay, who did they miss? I loved it. Did you no. shut up? What's your turn? Yeah. All right, Adrian Vasquez, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I have two questions. Go and, to yell. Uh, go to yell. Can I ask two questions? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Uh, first question is for Michael Walker. Uh, what are you gonna do about the prison activities? Because you mentioned that one time, I believe. All right. And, uh, oh, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, buddy. Okay. And. Uh, I would like for every candidate to answer that, actually. And, uh... Yeah, actually, that's it. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll take this one first. Uh, let me expand upon what I've been mentioning about earlier. One of the main issues I had when I came into the city was, yes, I started off getting into the illegal stuff. I ran up with... I went in with uh, some bad people, started off doing bad things, and um, I had a lot... I will admit, I had a lot of marijuana on me that I was going to sell. I mean, a great amount, but I feel like the, um, that once I was caught for it, which I did my time appropriately, uh, deeply regret it, but the time was exuberant. For the amount of stuff I did, I was out for, I want to say, nearly a whole day. Now, for new citizens coming in, that's generally the path they're going to take. They end up uh, leaving the city for good right off their first day because of these crazy times. So what I'm going to enact is... Giving certain officers the right that since when you go to jail, you get a little bracelet, you go back into the world. But these police seconds. officers, these police officers will find you at any time. They they can search you at any point, giving you a second chance, get to stay out of prison, and still go on about your lives. Kind of a rehabilitation thing. Can I add a comment about that statement? I'm out of breath. Huh? Go with Argyle. Uh, what am I gonna do to solve the prison problem? Was your question? Prison, act prison activity. 
Well, I've been in jail only once, and that was for reckless and drunk driving uh, and crashing a fire truck. Um, but, you know, I spent a lot of time in jail. I think I had a really long time. I was stuck in a cell with one other man, and we had no room to move. It was painful, intolerable, and that man smelled pretty bad. So, I think everyone needs single cells to start, if that's not already happening. I agree with Michael saying that times need to be decreased. And I think they all need to be very proportionate, and I think police officers should have discretion when it comes to time, unless a judge issues it. I don't think there's any judges convicting people and issuing time. This stuff should be on a case-to-case -case basis, and I think the legal system needs to be used better. It would solve a lot of these issues. Alright, so... We're gonna go into the final messages, alright? Final messages from the mayor candidates. What do you have to say, Argel, as a final thing? Because people are, are gonna vote now, and the guy who wins with the votes is gonna become the mayor. So, Argel, go ahead with your end message. Alright, well, first of all, I wanna say both of these people next to me are fine candidates. And it was a pleasure being up here with both you gentlemen. Also, you, Walter. I'm sorry for what happened to you. Taking a bullet's no fun. I hope to improve positions for the working class. That's pretty much my biggest stance. I'd like service to get improvements as well. But honestly, all improvements need to be something communal. It's not something I decide alone. I need people with me. I need a good cabinet. I need good vice people. I need deputies. I need people to let me know the problems. We need to collaborate and work as them as a team. Because it's not one person that runs this city. It's all of us. We're all a part of this city. Also, I hope to see you guys doing some sick stunts out there. More jumps. Trump. Catching the gnar. <laughs> Boo! All right. Boo! Shut the fuck up. All right, Boo. Michael Walker, go ahead. Oh, I wish I could jump. No, um, all right, so you guys gotta remember, we have two weeks. No matter who gets chosen here, I think all three of us are gonna do a great job. Depending on who gets this, who you guys de decide to vote for. As for me, I'm gonna try to work with what little time I have. When it comes to taxes, I will try to lower them. <laughs> Um, it'll be a it'll be a day by day basis. Uh. My my main ideas are trying to keep people out of crime, increasing wages, and uh, just trying to get people out of the criminal world. All right, Shasha, go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this to my deputy mayor since he haven't said a lot today. So go ahead, right. Waldo. I'd like to thank you for this opportunity. Now, over the past months, this city has been ran with no leadership, nothing. Nobody was consulted about anything that happened in the city. Nobody authorized anything. It's been ran by individual factions who are doing basically whatever they want. Civilians, police, EMS and fire department. They all have their options. Well, now it's time for the cabinet to step in. It's time for a real change. It's time to make Santos great again by voting for Sasha. Okay, Let's this go. isn't about all the other candidates. This is about making the choice the right choice to vote for the right person and Wonder who I you voted beg for. you choose sasha make a better future Fuck you. and make santos great again all right hey, can all I right so this question? is the rules okay great it's answer. all good what i'm gonna do is you guys can vote in the middle and i will write everything down once you will once you vote you you will get kicked out from the server and so it's going to restart at the late that's right right so today the guy who wins with Unless... the most votes will win all right is that cool with you michael Shai, uh, shasha and argyle yep 100 percent. yeah we agree all right so you, stay in the line you will get kicked once you vote. You can vote on one person, not more. Benjamin Boker, go ahead. Who do Wait, you hold on, hold on, hold on. I hey, thought voting was going to be anonymous. This is pretty rude. Shut the fuck nah, up. Nah, I don't care. They Benjamin can all hear. I'm voting for Sasha because he's going to be the best mayor ever. All right, next. What about you, Rustic? You're the man. I'm not gonna fucking vote. I oh. fucking like them both. Fucking Rustic? God damn it. Okay, who won? Oh my god. It's Ty. I don't wanna fucking, have to make this choice. Fucking Shasha, Shasha's it's lucky as fuck because the whole fucking gang, FBI, they fucking voted for him. And and, 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 and they're like 10 people, so, you, so you're vote. fucking lucky. Yeah, I went for the PD votes. Or the uh, fire department votes. Yeah, you, really yeah. you on all the yeah, even the fucking EMS department voted for you. I, I'm fucking yeah, yeah. disappointed. 
But what? but here's the thing. Let's be honest. Fucking... Because I'm a paramedic. Walker, oh. whole fucking if I yeah. get it, <laughs> they fucking, fucking voted on this guy right here. Which is fucking. I don't know why they did that. I need to. Argyle, come over here. There has to be another man. I feel like this is very biased and. Can we have a shootout? Who, who am I going to choose? In three, you can say the name and I'm going to say a name, alright? We can say my name together. Okay, okay. alright? Alright. Are you ready? I want to yeah. be a lawyer. Three. Real Two, one, one. Okay. Michael. There you go. Game one. You, you bitch, set me up. You fuck. I'm sorry, Sasha. Michael, you won. All right, guys. Good job. Hello. Wherever you are. I'm here. It's up to Michael. Hey, what's going on, Michael? I, I you feel can like do a this. shithead now, Rustic. You fucked me. <laughs> We're supposed to say a name at the same time. <laughs> well, boys, congratulations on both your mayoral victories. Either way, whatever titles they give you, I'm sure you'll both have power in the decision-making processes, so no hard feelings against me. Rustic, fuck you for putting me in that situation and screwing me at the end. <laughs> I'll see you boys later. The debate was fun. I gotta go to Absolutely the Absolutely. Same here, Argyle. Let's talk later about that, man. Yeah, if really you boys need any help or any input or any cabinet stuff or whatever, let me know. I'm always around to help. Unless I'm doing stunts <laughs> or fucking people with taxes or in jail. Not taxes. <laughs> tow trucks or I'm in jail because of drunk driving. Go ahead and subscribe if you like the video. And if you really like this one, you should watch all the rest of my other videos. I've got all these different social media outlets that I use occasionally. You can follow them if you want to get in contact with me. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time.